Josh Many went to the Lao New Year Festival to see what it's all about. Every year, the land near the Buddhist temple in Koto is transformed into festival grounds for the Lao New Year's celebration. The faithful converge to pray for rain for a prosperous rice growing season. The festival kicked off with a pageant, where contestants showed off lesser known aspects of the culture. Everyone thinks that, you know, everyone, every, every type of Asian, like Chinese, Japanese, everything's the same. So, we're here to show you that it's not the same. <laughs> I'm so proud. All the our, my people are all uh, nationality all combined today. It's very powerful. One of the pageant contestants is using her status to promote a social cause. According to CNN, there are some 80 million unexploded bombs scattered across Laos from the Vietnam era. Many Laotians step on them to this day and become permanently mutilated. I just tell people all the time. I just remind them to support our people. There, are, there are lots of foundations online. They're called Lao Charities. You have to find them. One woman started traveling to the festival as a young girl with her family, who were Laos immigrants living in upstate New York in the 1980s. They love the community as well as the warm climate so much, they decided to move here. There's a big Laos community here, and we are able to uh, practice our cultures and religions freely. The festival also serves as a way to open up the community. And I think it's a great way to like show everyone, like we're here, and we're a close-knit community, but we're really open to everyone else. One Lafayette Catholic parishioner took time from his Easter weekend to visit the temple and get a blessing. It made me feel like a citizen of Earth, like part of a family, you know? Uh, we have many different faiths on the planet, Jewish and Catholic and Muslim and Buddhist, but we're all one big family. In Kodo, Josh Many, KTC TV3. Gerard Park is covered in a layer of colors after today's Holly Festival.